welcome back to Endless Craft Abilities. It feels like you probably just saw us, right? Yes, that's because we're doing this marathon of Valentine crafts to help kickstart your Valentine preparation because Valentine's Day is in less than two weeks at this point. So we wanted to make sure that we got you enough videos so that you can have anything to choose from, uh, a little something here for everybody. So the thing that we're gonna be doing today is a unicorn bag. Yes, this is a bag that you can carry and you can put your crafts in. So let's say you can't do a box at school and you don't wanna do a boring bag, you can do a unicorn purse, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be very exciting. So let me rewind and go back. Welcome back our young king and queens. If you have not subscribed, please click that subscribe button and like the video. If you are new to our channel, please go and watch our welcome video, which is kind of crazy because that's just who we <laughs> are. Uh, and you'll see that usually it is Max, May, and Mom, and we don't have Max. So Max is going to join us again when we do a Pokemon craft or one of the crafts from Monsters, Inc., which you can look forward to doing with us. Um, so we're going to let you know what you need for this craft, and then we'll jump right in. Let's go. Okay, so these are things you can find right around your home. Paper plates, two of them. Construction paper, red, blue, and pink. Now, let's say you don't have red, blue, and pink. Use any color you want. We're only using these to do our hearts and to do our unicorn ears, but you know that at our channel, you are the artist. So if you want to use a different color for your unicorn, you're the artist, so you say so. So you do it, okay? And... We had to step away from the dollar store to get this. We went to another dollar store, but we got some glitter paper. Yes, oohs and odds are welcome. There you go, go ahead and do it, because guess what? This is some fancy paper. It was only about $3 at Dollar General, but it was well worth it because look at a sparkle, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and do our words of affirmation, and then we are going to do what? Do our craft, okay? So let's get started. I am kind, I am important, I am smart, I am brave, I am loved, and I am amazing. Yes, and if you are coming back to our channel, you absolutely know that we think that you are amazing, young kings and queens out there, and that we're thinking that you are valuable and we want you to know that you're valuable. So we want you to say that even when you're not at our channel, and if you're new here, Please, please, please come back every single week. And if you don't even come back every single week, just remind yourself of just how important you are, whether you're on our channel or not, because you are. You guys are going to shine so bright one day. You're going to light up this entire world. And um, we're just, we're excited to be here to see it. Okay, so let's jump right in. All right, here we are with our unicorn purse. So I won't be doing it this time. I'm going to be the grown-up doing the grown-up part of it. And then Nene, me, May, will be doing the, um, your part. <laughs> so uh, first things first, you're going to have two separate plates that the grown-up's going to staple together. Then, uh, well, after the grown-up cuts out this shape for you, okay? So I will show you grown-ups, all right, what we're going to do. Very simple. All we're gonna do is one plain cut. And then right before we get to any halfway mark, we're gonna do a triangle and then down. And then we're gonna do a little bit more, a little bit more triangle and then down. And then we're gonna cut all the way across. Voila. Well, my ears are a little my ears are crooked. There. Uh oh. There we go. Better ears, okay? And then you gotta see where you cut this at. Cut this here. And you're just going to take it all the way across. This is the back. This is the front. We're going to take a stapler. 
and staple it together. Now let's say you want your ears to be a little bit higher, you're welcome to do that. I cut these a little too low, but it's still going to be a unicorn nonetheless. So before you have your grown-up staple it, you can go ahead and start decorating. So May will walk you through how to decorate your plate, okay? So for the pink ears, you take some of your scrap paper, fold it, and I think this will be uh more than enough so we can cut this in half while it's folding put this to the side and so take the two papers and round one part so of the lean your hand in so they can see there you go and round another part round this part and then So these are your little ears, mm -hmm. and so there, the scraps. Next we'll do the... You can paste your ears on if you want to. Oh yeah, so let's paste. You can use this plate as a, <laughs> <laughs> as a place to paste. Thank you. I can get you some scrap paper if you want. Thank you. This is better, actually. Okay. So, like that. Looking nice. Thank you. And then this other one. Whoa. Well, that's the beauty about paste. You can take it off and start again. Yeah. Oh no, come on. What's happening? It doesn't want to stay in place. Oh, okay. There. And now, we can move on to the um, hearts. So first, let's take some of our scrap paper from before. Cut it in half. And make our heart. So, whoa, let's fix that. There, so now we can make our half. Yeah, line it up so you can show them. There you go. smaller if you want no perfect size so we can paste that on I can take your other plate from underneath here Thank you. make it easier for you Thank you you're welcome so ding, ding. that right in the middle of your two ears there we go and then Okay. You guys can see just how serious we are about saving <laughs> saving scrap paper. <laughs> about the nice. Same size. Move those to the side. Looking good. There we go. I can save that. So let's paste these on. Get down so I can see. Just a tiny little thing. Woohoo, that's pretty tiny. <laughs> mm. So now it's even tinier. The tiniest heart you've ever seen. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And buddy. now, put this little part 
Nice. All right, so you okay. can go ahead and cut your unicorn's horn. So this is our pa glitter paper. It's my favorite paper. Mommy can get you some out of here. Thank you. You guys can see, so we don't waste. We just go ahead and cut the amount that we need out of here because that's how we save and we're able to do so many more crafts by not wasting all of our paper. I want to have like a little baby horn. Oh, if it's going to be a baby horn, then we can take some of that. Yeah. There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, this is so sparkly. It smells delicious down there, handsome. You're welcome. Guys, I'm going to break for dinner in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it I'm smells hungry, good. Too. I'm smelling it. And yeah, I'm it like, smells good. Ooh, boy. I know, I just got a whip of that and I was like, dinner time? Mm -hmm. I wish you guys could smell it mm -hmm. through the screen. Smell? <laughs> <laughs> now? Oh, you want to put it on the back? Oh, yeah. Like underneath. No, you're good. You just paste it on. Okay, so while May's doing that, what we'll do is we're going to get our ribbon. This, too, was at the Dollar Tree. It's in the birthday section where you get your wrapping paper and things from. And it was just a dollar with all of these colors on it. So I, again, as you know, you know, I love that. <laughs> so you got to cut a small piece of this off. You don't need very much. Um... And then we're going to go ahead and put our, oh, that's, I'm not, I'm not, not stapling that. <laughs> we're going to put our ribbon here within our plate because we're going to staple it. And that's how we're going to keep that in there. So this is where your grown-up's helping you, okay? So you're going to staple, check, yes, done, yes. You're going to make sure that when you hold it, you're going to pull this ribbon and then you're going to staple this other part. And you're just going to do it all the way around. Now clearly this dollar, this uh, staple did not come from the dollar store, but there are several staplers at the dollar store. I just have always had this. Um, and so I'm just using it. Okay, last step. Give this unicorn her eyelashes. Mm -hmm. So let's get our little thin marker. Oh, you can't put it on the back. So. Oh, you want to lay it down so they can see. There we go. Nice. Into their eyes. All there right, go. and there we go. Where'd the horn go? Uh oh. That no, no, no. Oh, where'd it go? I don't know. We lost the horn. We lost the horn. Mayday, mayday. Oh, here it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Let's do some more. La lather that glue up. We losing horns. All right, there we are. Okay, so this was us mixing it up for you guys. Not a boring bag. Or a big box, but a... A purse! Fashionable Valentine's purse. Okay, for our fancy queens out there, you have something that you're probably definitely not going to see anybody else with at school. So, jump on this craft and make it. Be the first one to make it and wear it to school for Valentine's Day, okay? And then use that to collect all of your candy. And then go ahead and walk on out of school real fancy-like. Alright, <laughs> so, we hope you guys enjoyed doing this craft with us. And sorry, grown-ups, we know we try to do craft that doesn't include you, but we couldn't get around it this time, okay? So, uh, you, are you saying anything this time, Miss Fam? Hmm.